want the GCP congestion charge. Let's call it what it really is, the congestion tax. Back in November, Cambridgeshire Residents Group held a similar protest. It took place during the GCP congestion charge consultation period, a time when the GCP executive board should have been actively listening to people. The chairperson of the GCP executive board attended our, meet, our last protest as an observer. The very next day, she went on local television and said, I do not believe everything that was said from the podium was entirely accurate. I've written to Councillor Machini and asked her to give details of the inaccuracies. I even sent her YouTube clips of all the speeches. What have I had back? Nothing! It's not appropriate for the chair of the GCP to cast doubt on our words without being able to back those words up. A week after our huge de demonstration, there was a counter-protest, the We Want Better Buses campaign. I have news for them. We want better buses too. This is not about better buses, it's about how infrastructure improvements are paid for. The chairperson of the GCP Executive Board, together with another voting member of their board, Councillor Call Me Dave Bajant, <laughs> attended. Fight him out! Fight him out! Fight him out! Fight him out! They, they attended, not this time as observers. No, this time they tweeted their support <laughs> from, directly from the rally. Not appropriate behaviour for two voting members of the GCP during a so-called consultation. Whatever the consultation results, therefore, the 24,000 result, um, consultation forms that were filled in, two members of the board have already decided what they're going to recommend. So even if it's a result that 95% don't want it, they're still going to recommend it to the County Council. The chair of the GCP Executive Board is probably here and observing again. Uh, where are you, Elisa? Put your hand up. Uh, well, even if you're not here, I'll still send you the video links. During the consultation period, the GCP held a number of communication events. I attended several of them. I spoke to a very professional young lady with the name Growth and Strategy Manager. I explained some of the issues my 110-year-old business would face if they proposed to charge my suppliers £50 per lorry per day. That's £13,000 per year per lorry. <laughs> Blue Sky's thinking came into play. She said, can't you get your suppliers to deliver at the weekend? <laughs> Genius! I really can't imagine why I hadn't thought of it before. Another member of the City Deal team once told me, can't your customers come on bikes? <laughs> I invited her to the shop and showed her what we sell. Walking into the metal stores, she said, Oh, that's what you mean by steel, is it? <laughs> Seriously, folks, what planet do these guys come from? <laughs> that means that counts... Uh, don't forget, it's the County Council which will vote on this matter later this year. That means councillors from God Manchester, Huntington, 
Gamlingay or Ely will now vote on how we move about our city. Well, I say, we follow the old revolutionary concept of no taxation without representation. Give, give the people of Cambridge a binding referendum vote and see what the result will be. Why are they running scared of the idea? Because I suspect they know exactly what the result would be. Let the people decide! Yeah.